all right, we're having a conversation with Matthew, who developed a mechanism for working with the electronic banking payment file format. The challenge in this is that the payment file format wants you to save the bank file template in a custom record in a field. And when you get a lot of these, it becomes pretty cumbersome to work with, especially when you have to do a mass update across all these different bank file templates. So Matthew is going to d discuss an innovation that he did to help get this payment file format into the file cabinet, which is a much more natural way to manage information because then you can use the file tools, you can use version control and various other sorts of things. Did I articulate that correctly, Matthew? Yes, yes, very well. Yes, okay. very well. What are we looking um, at right now? Okay, so we're on a payment file format record in Create. And in Create, basically the user can still enter the bank file template inside the field on this custom record. So here the bank file template has already been added. Let's go ahead and save. And what happens on save is that the, the text here is, is uh, stored inside a file in the file cabinet. And then what I do on before load, when this page reloads, is I draw a link to that file stored in the file cabinet. So let's go here and click. So now when whenever the user wants to make changes to the file, they can interact with the file stored in the file cabinet. Of course, this allows them to download it, sync it with an IDE and, and so forth. Kind of real okay. traditional at that point because people are accustomed to modifying templates and various things in, in, in a file cap. Absolutely. Now, for things to stay in sync, imagine um, they have made changes in an, an external system and then they, they upload the files back to the file cabinet. So there's been a change to the file. Mm -hmm. What happens is that on edit save of the payment file format, the file syncs up with the, the bank file template field on this uh, record. And to allow syncing up many records, I've created a save mass update. So I call it sync pay file format template with the file cabinet. Got it. And the user just needs to select the, the payment file format records that need to be um, synced up files in the file cabinet and they go ahead and perform the, uh, the update. In essence, Matthew, if what you're doing is, is effectively just touching the PFA record, which then its logic behind the scenes does the update into that field. Exactly. So um, any edit save on the um, payment file format will make sure that the information stored in the file cabinet is in sync with the uh, the bank file template field on the payment file format. Can you go back to that record that you did create and go into edit mode? Because won't the user see if you hit edit now? What happens? Because you Oh, it disappeared. What we do on edit is we actually now hide the bank file template. So this um, ensures that the user always interacts with the file stored in the file cabinet. And the reason we did this is, is because th this record is locked by NetSuite because it's a managed bundle. So we aren't able to customize this record, but we, we can run scripts against it. And, so, and thus you're controlling sort of what's going on. That field is still there, but when you hit edit save, you're taking the contents of the file and you're updating the field that NetSuite wants the data in. Is that correct? Do I understand you correctly? That's correct. Got it. Okay. 